Lisa. Hi, Claudia. How are you? Good. Good. So we are going to um, do a little different podcast today that's going to have a little bit of a video. So hopefully this works. I'm going to start my sharing. Sharing. Okay. Very good. So what what is the question that we are doing today? So Claudia, I'm curious um, if you could um, go over, explain the different energies or vibrations of different, different types of yoga. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So the most uh, popular yogas these days are vinyasa, I think. Vinyasa and hot yoga. So let's do this. We're going to do... We have point A and we have point B. Yes? Yeah. So that's the 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 allotted time slot of a class. Class. Okay. All right. So we have point A and point B. So let's say vinyasa is like a water. So we use the color blue. <laughs> All right, so vinyasa is very much here and it's a very much up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and movement. It's just a up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And vinyasa, you can have like 50, 50 poses in a class. Mm. Um, so I think I might need to extend my little dot here. <laughs> because there still needs to be like a relaxation. <laughs> okay, so then they have the cool down. There. They're just moving. They're not really holding anything statically. They're just moving, 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 flowing. Right. So we'll do vinyasa as blue. Sounds good? Um, yes. We'll do hot yoga as red. It's a very yang, very yang. Yeah. So we'll do red for vinyasa or hot, hot yoga. And hot yoga has 26 poses. So let's just go ahead and see if I can squeeze in 26. But they also have a, um, like a, Savasana in between poses too. Now I don't have it memorized their sequencing, which is fine because I don't really need to. Oh, and I need it. Red. Akiro rojo. Up and down and 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 up and down. Because the heat makes it up and down and up and down and up and down. And this is using external heat. Up and down. You might have a savasana. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and up and down, and savasana. So let's just say that that is hot yoga. Okay. Let's look at ashtanga. Ashtanga, let's make it orange. Do orange. Because I definitely think of orange when I think of um, ashtanga. I don't want text red. I don't know why that happened. No quiero eso. Okay. I'm not very good with this thing, but that's okay. You're getting it. We understand. We're following you. Right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So Ashtanga yoga is also a very yang practice. Yeah. So this one is also going to be up and down because Ashtanga Vinyasa is the actual name of Ashtanga Yoga, but you're using internal heat as opposed to external heat. Then you have a winding down series there. So we've got that as Ashtanga Vinyasa, proper name. Okay, restorative yoga. Ooh, let's do a 
light blue because it's a very cooling practice. One second, I do not want Ashtanga. There. Okay. So let's look at that as a light blue. So restorative yoga is going to be very low to the ground, very, actually, let me erase that because restorative yoga, you don't do a lot of poses. So you can see that it's a lot of holding and restoring. Mm -hmm. And I will say that um, a lot of people, restorative yoga is now titled um, yin yoga for a lot of people. Make sense? Yes. Okay, so it's a very cooling practice. Let me close this real quick. I know the dogs will always work their way in. <laughs> cooling, this is more a static, slow, mm -hmm. flowing practice. Not necessarily flowing. You're restoring your body back to balance using gravity. So you're holding the pose and most of them are all reclining or not, not reclining, but they're all touching. They're really close to the ground. Though there are restorative poses that you can take. Like, for example, you can do a standing forward fold and make it a restorative pose by allowing the body just to kind of hang, right? Right. But <clears throat> before it used to be yin classes would just prop your body up using your body as props. Mm -hmm. Restorative was using props to restore your body back to balance using gravity. Okay. But people have slowly, you know, changed it so that yin classes have props and because the feminine energy, the yin energy is a very cooling, relaxing energy as opposed to yang. Mm -hmm. So then um, the other style of yoga is what, what I teach and I'm going to use green. Yay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a medium green. Um, and it is Hatha yoga. Mm -hmm. And Hatha yoga goes here, you begin grounded. Oh, that's blue. I don't want blue. I want, I'm going to do green. I'm going to do a forest green. <clears throat> and you warm up little by little. And you start to build up a little bit of heat. Yeah. And you don't do as many poses. And you're breathing in and breathing out. And you might have a peak. And after the peak, you start to wind down. And then you slowly trickle your way into Savasana. And that's what I absolutely love because it's a very, in my opinion, balanced practice. What were you gonna ask me? Yeah, I like, um, you know, practicing with you. It's allowing that space to bring ourselves to that quiet mind. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm seeing from the energy of other practices is you're jumping right in. You're, there's not, we're with the Hatha, when I've practiced with you, I'm really appreciating. We come to the mat, we connect to our breath. We quiet the mind, go within to really be ready to uh, go into the asanas. Yeah. So I like to divide the practice into three parts. There's mm -hmm. an awakening part. Yes. There's a, a being part. And then there's a winding down part, just like our day, just like yes. our day. So if we go here, when we look at it, let's say <clears throat> the day starts at... 6 a.m. and then it ends at 6 p.m. Let's just go with the cycle. Yeah, we've got the noon, yeah, 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. yeah. And our day is really happening, starting to happen at 10 a.m., right? And then for me, siesta time, <laughs> at 2 p.m., <laughs> 
I like to think of, you know, which means that my winding down, winding down, uh, really of like the winding down process happens around 4 p.m., mm-hmm. right? And we get to the peak of our day, just like the sun at two, yes. three. Like you don't want to be in the sun from one to three. That's not the best for the skin, right? That's the time that you're supposed to like start turning inward and decompressing, right? And so that's the approach that I take when we're on the mat. Yeah, we have a whole day on the mat, but we also have a whole life on the mat. Mm-hmm. When we look at our lives, if we take it into years, yeah, we are born huh yeah we're born yeah and then we die the sun rises the sun sets yeah we have when is the peak of our practice well i know now with like people being able to live longer the peaks changed a little bit but and everybody's peak is different because they may have been through different traumas or experiences of life or even from their birth to their death it may be different but the peak of their life is like really like the best times and we have lots of different peaks throughout our life right we can say buying a house can be a peak marrying is a peak having a child is a peak and so it's it's our journey but it doesn't serve us i think if our journey was going 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 get on your mat go 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 get off your mat keep going 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 exhaust yourself like I have a neighbor and she's like, I love hot yoga. I can't stand it, but I love it because it exhausts me. But we're looking for balance. That's what hatha yoga is. It's the balance of the sun and the moon. Yeah, the sun is the birth of the day. The moon is the death, but we need both. There are nocturnal animals and there are animals that you know we live in the day. If we were supposed to be nocturnal, we would have nocturnal eyes, which would be bugging and more open and wide, right? Mm. But we're not. We have the ability to look only during the day, not at night. Mm -hmm. So it's a disservice to ourselves, you know, when we keep technology and all kinds of stuff on at night, which is why a lot of people can't necessarily, they have difficulty going to sleep. No, but when we wake up in the morning, hello, Logan, when we wake up in the morning, it's because we've woken up because the sun has woken up. Mm -hmm. So we have to live with the sun and we have to go to bed with the moon or the darkness. And it's so nice to wake up in the morning and have this time to come together and mm, wake up and stretch and cuddle and, and prepare for the day and then the same at night to to honor what we have done through the day and prepare for the the rest period there needs to be a rest period absolutely so what happens is people wake up at 6 a.m going straight into uh, oh, okay thank you so you see the orange and the red People wake up going, boing, 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 boing. I need more coffee. I need more coffee. (laughs) It becomes a disservice to ourselves Mm. if we just wake up and we spring out of bed. So that's why I encourage people to lie in bed for a little bit. Hit the snoozer if you need to hit the snoozer before you jump out of bed. You don't need to jump out of bed. Everything is intentional. And with Hatha Yoga, it gives us that ability to slowly wake up. And I remember growing up, my father would just take the sheets off. (laughs) He'd open the door and he'd just pull the sheets off of me. Get up. (laughs) And he'd be like, levantate, which means to get up. And it's like, yeah. (laughs) I do to my dad. (laughs) Not sleeping. (laughs) Not be good. (laughs) We'd like to go wake up. Oh, maybe I'll. Mm, stretch, get oh. some cuddles. Yeah, when I'm up, I'm up. 
when you're up you're up so i'm going to conclude this but i want to thank you i think that's a great question and this is i'll post this image so we have it but yeah these are the different yogas we've got yang yogas and we've got yin yogas and so when we look at it when we put them in a section yeah we're gonna just kind of do this because vinyasa is still like um, considered a yang or a yin, depending, because especially if they're putting it in hot yoga, but the center of it is really that hatha yoga. The, the balance. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, this concludes our session for today. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, the, the diagram, the analogy is very helpful. So thank you. Awesome. Well, dona da gohai. Instead of saying bye, we say dona da gohai e namaste. Yes. <sighs> Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Yeah.